Hey there. How's it going? Pretty good. What are we working on today? Can you measure that board next to you? I need to know how wide it is. Sure. Um, it's four and three little lines wide. I think you mean three sixteenths. So, I never really learned to read a tape measure. The fractions scare me. That's no problem. Come on, I'll help you. Each line represents a sixteenth of an inch, ranging from one sixteenth to sixteen sixteenths within each inch. So, you could just count the lines, then put that number over sixteen and reduce the fraction. For example, let's say we're measuring to this line. It's eight lines from the edge. Out of the 16 lines within the inch. Now just reduce the fraction, leaving us with one half. But that can be a little time consuming. To solve that problem, the lines are arranged by size to identify them easier. So all the tallest lines are easy, they're the inch marks, and are labeled by the number that represents each inch. The second tallest line is the half inch line. So if you were measuring to the edge of this board, the measurement is one and a half inches. The next set of lines represent the quarter inch marks. These will be one quarter and three quarters. Next are the eighth inch lines. You can start to notice a pattern that the bottom numbers or denominators of each line stay the same and the top numbers or numerators are all odd numbers. And then the 16th of an inch lines. Once again, just count each of the 16th lines by odd numbers, one, three, five, seven, nine, and so on. I think I'm beginning to understand. Let me give it a try. Okay, so the width of this board is just over the 3 inch mark. And now that I know those are 16th marks, I'll just count them by odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7. So it's 3 and 7 sixteenths wide. Hey, that's right. Good job. See, it's not too bad. It's just fractions on a number line. Here are a few more to practice on. 